Hello. Hi, everybody. It's Friday, so we love to have a comedian, in, and we are so happy that Brad Williams is back. How are you guys? It's good we're to see you. We're already laughing with you. Yeah, we're, 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 we're having fun. We're just talking off camera, and, and, you, and you guys do what a lot of people here in Canada could do for me. They go, oh, you're from California. This weather must be scaring you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and Well, I mean, it's true, because in California, we are very wimpy when it comes to weather. It's like two inches of rain, and ah, it's a national catastrophe. <laughs> uh, but like, I just think it's odd that people like do like, oh, you're from a certain state. Like These things must be scaring you. So like, if you met someone from Ar from Arizona, you'd be like, oh, you're from Arizona. We've got gays here. Like they, <laughs> like, 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 they might terrify you or something like that. Uh, I know some people just switch the channel. I don't care. No, uh, no, no. They love us. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the only thing that scares me when it comes to you guys and your weather is the fact that like you get uh, not just some snow. Yeah. Like I'm here with like Polar Vortex 2, Electric Boogaloo. Uh -huh. Like I'm, I'm, I'm here now. That's a nice 80s reference for those people. Uh, and, and like now everyone's like, it's no big deal. We're just going to get a foot of snow. It's like, yeah, I'm four feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> like a foot of snow scares the crap out of me. But yeah, like, yeah, like you guys, it's no big deal. You're used to it and, you, and you're average height. So you walk around, you trip, you fall, your knee gets wet. It's winter time. You know, I trip and fall, I die. All right. I don't want that to happen. I want I, I, I need to go to like a sporting goods store, buy one of those like orange soccer flags and just like duct tape it to my back. So it's just waving around. And if that flag stops waving, you guys start digging. Okay. Okay, that's, that's the rule. The rule? Like, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we only have precious moments. I can't breathe that long. Oh my God. <laughs> I get it. There's a new show coming out. It's called Little The Little People on TLC or Oh, what, what, what that? It's a reality show and it's really? yeah. Oh, I it's, didn't it's, know this. Yeah, I, I like there, there was I don't I, I didn't get it across the dwarf wire. Uh, it's, been, it's actually, pardon me, it's been out a few seasons. Oh, there's Little People Big World, there, that's, uh, there's The Littlest Couple. The, where, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple. And they all, and they adopted an Asian dwarf baby. So, ah, the cutest thing on the planet. <laughs> Asian dwarf baby could stop war, okay? <laughs> no one is attacking. Like, you, you just hold up Asian dwarf baby like Simba and like nothing, <laughs> nothing will happen. Like, no, like everyone's like, I, I kill you for your religious belief. Oh, here. Is adorable. Like, <laughs> like nothing can happen with it. Uh, I yeah, I love that show. And 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 the woman on that show, the the, the littlest couple, uh, the woman is a doctor. The, the the wife is a doctor, and like she just sets the bar way too high because the rest of us we're like we're using our uh, we're using our dwarfism as an excuse. Now when you say it sets the bar too high, is that a short joke? Oh God, well well done. I didn't even, I, I, I didn't even get that. Um, I, you didn't even see that coming. I didn't even get that. I'm see? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard it. Man. I well apologize. done. Uh, but yeah, like she, she's a doctor. We used to be able to use this as an excuse. Like I can't do stuff. Meanwhile, she's like on like a booster chair operating on people, and she's got like the the, the tools from the game Operation, and, <laughs> and she's like in there doing stuff. And you're like, oh wow, I can't. Like if I fail now, it's actually my fault. It's right. not like the dwarfism thing. So uh, yeah, I love I I love that show. It, right. it, it, it's great and. Uh, yeah, there's like there's like five dwarf shows on television. I know what's between, up with that. Between the Pit Boss and which, by the way, dwarf taking care of pit bulls, that should be a daredevil show. Uh, and I'm not saying the, the, the pit bull breed is bad. I know it's a very sweet dog, but holy crap! Like, the, like I'm a chew toy for that thing, okay? Like he, like he, like he. That dog's gonna look at me and go, I wonder if it squeaks. Um, <laughs> So that's scary. And then you have the littlest couple. You have little people, big world. You have Peter Dinklage on Game of Thrones. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, Justin Bieber. That's a very pretty dwarf. Uh, so like, there's so many dwarves on TV. Where's my show? Yeah, why don't you, you get a show? a show? I know. I just, what the hell? Are you auditioning for all these shows? I I, 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 I do. Oh. But like Dinklage is just killing everybody. He's nice. so darn talented. So uh, it, I just wanted to have a show that just had me pranking people like I want that show where you just like throw me in a because I used to do this as a kid uh, I used to go into Toys R Us and I used to hop in the stuffed animal bin and I would just wait and then people would come by and I would like and, 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 I would pay money to see right this. and then like a kid would be like I want that one and then like I would come to life like hey there little boy <laughs> 
and just like, and like, but like the, the, the parents would be scared. The kid would be like, he's real, daddy, you know? And, and, and let's do that. Let's have a fun time with that. I don't know. It, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be a These good time. good, you know, yeah. concepts. I've got ideas. Studio audience, you would watch that show, right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Let the people in Hollywood know how you feel. Exactly. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm always excited to be back here. You guys are great comedy audiences. Uh, last night, and you could ask, the, the manager of the Funny Bone is right, is right over there. You can ask him, this is absolutely true. There was a woman in the front row of the show we did last night who has achondrophobia, which is a fear of little people. Come on. Yes, really? that is real, by the way. Really? And, and, and it's not like a, he's kind of creepy. It's, what the hell is that? Like, <laughs> yes, and it's real. And there was a woman sitting in the front row, and she had a friend with her who brought her and didn't tell her who the comedian was going to be that oh night and God. knew she had achondrophobia. So she's just sitting back like, well, this is going to be a hoot. Like, <laughs> she was trying to do exposure therapy. Yeah, and so I just walk on stage. This woman sees me and just like stands up and goes, Jesus Christ! Like, <laughs> and she's freaking out! And, and now remember, I don't know why she's freaking out. She's right. just freaking she's out. Just and freaking out. Like she's yelling, Jesus Christ, I'm looking around like Tim Tebow's here. Like, like I, I don't know. <laughs> And she's afraid of little people, which I don't understand. Like, I don't, like, I get spiders or clowns, right. you know? You're like, right. but, He's definitely afraid of clowns. Yeah, like, clowns are terrifying. But, uh, you know, but then, and then there's, yeah, like, little people, it's, it's, not, it's not like this is contagious. Did she stay for the show? Yeah, she stayed she for stayed? the whole show. Okay. Well, she kind of had to because once I found out she, she, she was afraid, I just... I hopped off the stage and hopped in her lap. Oh my and god! And I just did the rest, of, like not the rest of the show, but I did a good like ten minutes, like from her lap, just talking to her. Oh and my god! It, it was that exposure therapy where she's like, "Wait, wait, I'm I'm holding him, but nothing's happening. Right. Like, <laughs> nothing bad is gonna happen." Yeah, like it, 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 it's you not cured like, her. I did. I cured her because. It, like I, I don't know what she thought. Like I, I don't know if she thought like it's like contagious. Do I scratch you and then you go I'm melting? Like you know like <laughs> I, I I don't get it. But um, by the end of the show she was great. She gave me a big hug and she's like I think I'm okay now. Well you're so, great. Brad yeah, Williams, it was great. give Brad a nice Williams. round of applause. Hey. Tonight through Sunday, uh, 7:30 and 10 p.m. Sunday 7 p.m. Uh, at the Hartford Funny Bones. Yeah. Check it out. We have all the information on BetterCT.com. Such a fun night out, and you will get some laughs. My face, my face normally hurts, but it hurts now from it hurts laughing. Now. Yeah, so. I've caused you pain. We love right. it. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, guys. As always. Woo. All right, coming up, how you can see bald eagles right here in Connecticut.